Twitch TV is your education station. New numbers from the state lay out the current state of chronic absenteeism in high schools. Alexandra Appleton is a reporter with our partners at Chalkbeat Indiana covering education issues and policy. Uh, you have a new article on this, dug into the numbers for the story on this situation. Thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, before we get into the details of this, let's look at the quick headlines. How many kids are missing school in Indiana and is the number getting better or worse? The number is getting better. So last year, around 205,000 students were chronically absent. What that means is they missed about 10% of the school year. So that's 18 days. Um, and so the way the department frames that number is that, that if they showed up all in one day, that would be enough to fill about 2,800 school buses. Wow. Um, they point out numbers are getting better, but only to a point. We're, we're trying to get back to where we were, essentially. Right. Well, we have about an 18% chronic absenteeism rate, but before the pandemic, that number was only around 11%. Th there are some staggering numbers uh, in here. Uh, in fact, you end the article that really gives perspective maybe to families that, that don't really understand how large this issue is. Uh, one student that the state has identified has missed not just a year's worth of school days, but an entire year's worth of days. Right, yeah, well, they found one student um, who, they have this new uh, pilot program that's going to give stu uh, schools more real-time data about how many days uh, students are missing. And in, in doing that pilot, they found one student has missed 325 days of school in their educational career. Uh, students at the end of their careers are correlating with students actually at the very beginning in terms of the trouble spots here? Right, you've got your kindergarten students and then your high school juniors and seniors have higher rates of absenteeism than anyone else. So it's got, it's kind of a, a curve on the graph. We talked a little bit about uh, that pilot program. States launched a couple of dashboards. Tell us what those are for, who can use them? The first one is an attendance dashboard and that'll be available to schools with really granular data about being able to see, okay, on Tuesdays, we really struggle with attendance. What can we do to fix that? Um, and there's going to be a more, uh, a look back dashboard for members of the public to look back at attendance at their schools in previous years. Um, and then coming up is um, what they're calling a, an at-risk warning dashboard that's going to use attendance along with other factors to predict which students are going to be at risk of not graduating. You're around these uh, folks all all the time uh, leaders in education who are trying to improve things which means you probably have a good sense about whether optimism is real or whether it's for a news release do, do you get the sense that they really feel that these these steps will move things in a better direction or, or is this just trying to say oh that's not really a problem we're fixing it I think it's the first step. I think information is always the first step, but there, I think everyone agrees that there has to be something after in order to really move the needle on absenteeism. Well, there's a lot to dig into with your article, and we encourage everybody to give it a read. You can do that through wishtv.com and Chalkbeat as well. Alexandra Appleton, as always, thanks for the perspective. Thank you so much.